happy Tuesday children. Yesterday we read a story and it taught us to say please whenever we want something. So today I thought it would be fitting to read a story that says thank you. So today we're going to read a story that says 10 thank you letters. Now these are envelopes on the front. How many did I say the letters are, is he going to send? 10, right? So let's see if there are 10. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 10. Right, that's exactly right. So this story was written by Daniel Kirk. So let's see what this story is about. If you're writing a thank you letter, what are some things that you can thank people for? Do you remember we wrote a letter to an author about our favorite seasons? So when she wrote us back, do you think that we could have written her a letter that said thank you for your response? Of course we could. Or thank you for writing those stories. Those stories are really cool. So we can send thank you letters to anyone and say thank you for being just you. So let's see what the pig or maybe the rabbit does in this story. I don't know if that's a rabbit. Might be a gerbil. We're not sure. Let's find out. Ring, ring. So here's the pig. He's sitting at a little table. It looks like he's starting to write some letters. But what's in the trash? Yeah, it looks like there's a lot in the trash. So maybe he wasn't sure what to write. So let's see. Hello, rabbit. So he is a rabbit. Hello, pig. Want to play? So we'll see that the pig, his words are in black. And the rabbit's words are in red. So do you think the pig is going to play with the rabbit? Let's find out. Sure. But first, I'm writing a thank you letter to my grandma. She got me this sweater for my birthday. Nice. Hey, I want to thank my grandma too. So, so far the letter says, Dear Grandma, thanks for sending. So what does he want to thank him, her for? What does Pig want to thank Grandma for? Yeah, the sweater. He wants to thank her for the sweater that she gave him for Christmas. Or for birthday. Can I borrow a piece of paper, Pig? And a pencil? Sure, Rabbit. So he's letting him use some paper and pencil as well. Dear Grandma, thank you for the marshmallow cake you always bake for my birthday. Love, Rabbit. So, Rabbit wrote, Dear Grandma. That's how he started it. Didn't Pig start his very similar? Yeah, he did. So, Pig, or Rabbit thanked Grandma for what? For the cake. And Pig still wants to thank Grandma for the sweater. So, let's see. Okay, Pig, I am done with my letter. How about you? Not yet, Rabbit. I am telling my Grandma about the weather. So, is it okay to add other things into your letter besides just thank you? Sure, Pig is. Pig is telling about the weather. But it's a thank you letter. Why tell her about the weather? I don't know, Rabbit. It's just the way I do it. So, Rabbit doesn't do it the same as Pig, but is that okay? Of course it's okay. Whoa, I just thought of someone who deserves a big thank you. Can I borrow another piece of paper, Pig? And an envelope and a stamp, too? So, Rabbit keeps interrupting Pig whenever Pig is trying to write his thank you letter. Is he getting mad? No, not at all. He's just trying to help. He's trying to help Rabbit. Dear Madam President, thanks for doing a ducky job. Let me know if you need some help. Love, Rabbit. So, Rabbit just wrote a letter to who? Yeah, the President. He wrote a letter to the President. So, could we write letters to the President? Why not? Done. Are you finished with your letter, Pig? Yet, Pig? Well, no. I thought I'd tell Grandma about how I'm helping Mom with chores. Is Pig helping Mom with chores? Yes. Is that very polite? Yeah, of course. Chores? Why are you telling her that? It's a thank you letter. Because Grandma likes it when I help my mom, and she might want to know how things are going around here. So, is it okay that Pig wants to write other things in the letter? Of course, Rabbit. Of course it's okay. You can put anything in your thank you letter. Just make sure you say thank you. Hey, I just thought of another great person to thank. Can I borrow more paper? Do you think Pig is going to start getting mad at Rabbit for asking for more paper? I don't know. Let's find out. Dear Mr. Laffin, in case you are wondering how things are going around here, they are great. Your funny books make my whole class laugh. Love, Rabbit. So, now Rabbit wrote a letter to Mr. Lappin about thanking him for stories. Is that okay? Yeah, we did something similar. We did something very similar. 
Aren't you done with your letter yet, pig? No, rabbit. I just want to tell grandma that I laughed so much yesterday, my loose tooth came out. So now he's missing a tooth. Is it okay that pig wants to include other things? Of course. Can I have another sheet of paper, pig? Let me guess. You thought of someone else to thank? I sure did. So now he's going to write another letter. Let's see what this letter says. Dear Miss Patchy Derm, thanks for teaching us about brushing our teeth. Now I have clean teeth and fresh breath. Love, Rabbit. So now who did Rabbit think? Yeah, Miss Patchy Derm. She is the elephant. So he thanked her. Is that okay? Yes, you can always thank people. You could say thank you to their face. You could say thank you in a letter. You could say thank you however you want to say thank you. This one's done too. How's your letter going, pig? Well, I haven't seen my grandma in a while, so there's a lot to tell her. But you keep interrupting. So is the pig starting to get upset with the rabbit for interrupting? Maybe a little bit. Sorry, pig. Maybe if you just give me a stack of paper and envelopes and more stamps, I won't have to bother you. So, do you think Pig is going to give Rabbit a bunch of stamps and envelopes and paper? Probably. That way he can just write and write and write all he wants. Let's see if he does. Dear Mr. Moose, you are the best librarian. Thanks for finding me so many sports books. Love, Rabbit. So now he thanked the librarian. Is it okay? Yeah, you guys can write a letter to Miss Schreckengoss and thank her for being your librarian. Dear Miss Otter, Thanks for being a great bus driver and never getting lost on the way to school. Love, Rabbit. So if you have a bus driver, could you thank your bus driver? Yes, of course. These are great letters. These are great examples of letters we could write. Dear Mrs. Chicken, thanks for being a great crossing guard and making sure everyone gets to the other side. Love, Rabbit. So if you know of a crossing guard, could you write a letter to your crossing guard? Of course you could. These are perfect. Dear Mr. Hog, thanks for always giving me a carrot, po carrot pop at your market. Love, Rabbit. So, Rabbit loves the carrot pops. Can you thank your local person that sells things? Of course, of course you can at the market. You can thank the market people. Dear Mr. Kid, thanks for delivering all our mail. It's a lot to carry, isn't it? Love, Rabbit. So, he has a lot of mail. And now he's saying thank you. It's about to be more mail because Rabbit's sending a lot of letters, isn't he? Yeah, he is. There, I am finished. See you later, pig. I'm off to the mailbox to send my letters. Off to the mailbox. You have to put your letters in the mailbox. Otherwise, they'll never get sent. Finally, I can finish my letter. Yay, done. But Rabbit used all my envelopes and all of the stamps. Oh no, what will he do now? There's no envelopes and no stamps, so can he send the letter? Nope. Let's see what he's going to do. Oh no, how will I mail my letter to Grandma now? He seems a little upset. What would you do if you didn't have an envelope and stamps? Let's see what the pig's going to do. Ring, ring. Let's see who's back. Hello, pig. Guess what? I got more envelopes and stamps for you. Well, that was nice. Rabbit went and got more envelopes and stamps. That was really nice of him. And I wrote one more thank you letter. I thought I'd deliver it myself. Here. So who is Rabbit's final letter for? It's for Pig. What do you think he's thanking Pig for? Let's see if you're right. Thanks, Rabbit. No one ever wrote me a thank you letter before. Dear Pig, thank you for inspiring me and for being generous and for being my friend. Love, Rabbit. P.S. Now, are you ready to play catch? Oh, that was so nice. He thanked him for showing him how to do things. Yay, game time. Yes, after a quick stop at the mailbox. So he has to go mail his final letter to Grandma. Let's see what it says. Here's Grandma reading the letter. Look how good this is. Look how much Pig wrote. Pig wrote so much. Good for you, Pig. Dear Grandma, thanks for sending the great birthday sweater. Did you know my favorite color is purple? The weather has been so cool, so I can wear the sweater every day, even when I'm helping Mom wash dishes, or sweep the floor. Yesterday, my best friend Rabbit and I were laughing at a funny book, and my loose tooth fell out. Oh well, I will grow another one. Anyway, thanks again for the sweater, and I hope you are well. Love, Pig. That was so nice, wasn't it? So with the people you're with, see if you can remember who Rabbit 
wrote thank you letters to and why Pig wanted to write his thank you letter. See if you guys can figure it out. I'll post some links in here. Maybe you guys can write your own th thank you letter. That would be so cool, I think. Bye, everybody. Have a good Tuesday.